Hello everyone, Devin IDK here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to complete all of the Glacite Tunnels commission. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what hard mountain level you are right now. Alright, so there are five basic types of commissions within the Glacite Tunnels. You have Material Collector, which is where you have to collect around 1,500 type of a certain ore. So I believe that is Umber, right, right there, and here's Tungsten. So you'd have to collect 1,500 of each of those. The next one is Mineshaft Explorer, where you have to discover at least one mineshaft and enter it. So you have Mineshaft Explorer, which is where you find one mineshaft and you enter it. And, you, and within that mineshaft, you can complete other commissions like the Corpse Looter, where you have to loot three frozen corpses within that mineshaft. And you also have Scrap Collector, where you collect one suspicious scrap. And within that mineshaft, you can also complete a slayer quest which is where you have to kill 10 of some sort of mob with inside of the good site mineshaft and of course you also have the 1500 with the gemstones to collect so for example if you had 1500 aquamarine you'd head over to some sort of blue area like this and you'd mine these and you would gain a little bit extra aquamarine now you may be wondering how am i supposed to complete all these commissions Something you can do is set up waypoints. Now, if you're using a bad line client like I am, you can press right shift and you just need to search in all, search waypoints, click on this, make sure you enable it. You can create a new group and then you can add waypoints with me. I will have a link to this uh, waypoint pack down below. You can copy this into, you can copy this into your bad line client if you use it, or you can just use the exact same waypoints that I showed you within this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and create some waypoints so you press right shift, you search up waypoints, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new group. So you click this button right here, add group, and then you can rename it. I'm naming this Glacier Tunnels. I'm going to add a waypoint right here. This will let you know where the Aquamarine is. So I'm just going to label that Aquamarine. And then we're going to go ahead and leave that one enabled. And we're going to go look for some more stuff. So as you can see, we now have the waypoint here and it leads us directly to it. You can also label some of the tungsten and umber if you want. However, I don't believe that's necessary since there is quite a bit of it. And you won't really need to label these other gemstones that are found within the crystal hollows. So then over here, you have some black gemstone, which is onyx. So I'm going to go ahead and head. I'm going to go into the middle and I'm going to add a waypoint. I'm going to label this one onyx. And we're going to head back out and just continue looking around. Now this door is shut, but I'm pretty sure there is a little bit of gemstone in there. I don't know which one it is or how to open it. That's fine. So then over here you have this weird sort of shady glass. You're going to go ahead and add a waypoint. You're going to label this one. You're going to label this one Peridot. And you're going to continue on. I believe we just have one more. And then we do have a sort of big area up here. I'm going to go ahead and set it in the middle. I'm going to jump and I'm going to label this one Onyx number two. So we have Aquamarine right here. I'm going to label this one Aquamarine too. I do want to find a little bit of Citrine just so I can have that labeled for when I start to do some of the quests. I have a little bit more Peridot right here, so I do want to label this one. And over here we have Citrine. I'm going to go ahead and label this one just because it's hard for me to find. And I do have the quest right here. So I am going to go ahead and complete this for you just to show you what that looks like. So before we completed this, we did actually unlock a mine shaft. I'm going to go through this one real quickly just to show you. I just want to show you what the mine shaft looks like just because I know I won't be able to find one later. And it is pretty difficult to find. So as you can see, we got the mine shaft explorer commission completed. So now we have to find another mine shaft, obviously, but within this mine shaft, we can find one frozen corpse. Now I have waypoints on that shows you where the frozen corpse are, but we also have these mobs right here, glacite mutts. You can only attack these with a mining tool. You can't attack them with swords. So make sure you get yourself a gemstone gauntlet. Now I did drop a glacite shard. This isn't really that useful. It is just a power stone. So just be careful of that. As you can see, I can one-tap these just because I do have enchanted. But let's say we come over here to this corpse. If we right-click on this corpse, we complete the corpse looter. We gain Hard Mountain XP, we gain Citrine, we gain Goblin Eggs, and Onyx. But yeah, while you're in here, if you kill those mobs that I showed you earlier, you can complete that Slayer quest. Obviously, I didn't have it at the time, but once you kill around 10 of those mobs, you will gain 
or you will complete that quest. That's how you complete that specific corpse. Also, also I do have these other ones. Just want to be careful, these guys are pretty powerful, but you can do some decent damage to them if you do have a gauntlet. So I do recommend getting one. Now you also find other corpses that requires keys. Uh, you can buy this from the bazaar or you can just or you can forge this with like a, a forge. Obviously I don't have access to the recipe right now. But if you go to bazaar, I can get a key. I can't you can't use the bazaar command in the tunnels. So I do I do recommend just leaving buying some keys and having them in your inventory. It is sort of like gambling, but you can end up making some money off of it, but I don't recommend that being your only way to make money. Something else that can happen in here is you can find crystals for some of the other gemstones, like the citrine, the peridot, the onyx, and the aquamarine. You can find gemstones in order to craft the perfect gems. Now what I'm going to do while I'm in here, I might as well just mine some of this glacite, just because it is one of my quests. And I'm going to stay in here until the mineshaft collapses in on itself. Now because there isn't really much else for me to gain within this mineshaft, I'm going to go ahead and exit it. So as you can see, it shows you how much reward you get from the specific mineshaft. If you leave, you gain an extra 1000 glacite powder. I didn't find 5 of the suspicious scrap in here, which is actually another one of the quests you can do. So I do recommend mining a ton of this stuff and just hopefully you can end up finding a suspicious scrap because there are, because there are multiple within here. Now, obviously, since I didn't find it, I, pro I probably should have mined around a little bit more looking for it. But it is getting cold and I don't really want to die, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave. So, but let's say you go back to the base camp and you have a citrine gemstone quest. What you need to do is you need to look at your waypoints, you need to find the closest one, and just run over to it. And then you can just start mining and complete it. And then sometimes you do get lucky on a lock the glacite mineshaft, which I did while completing my citrine quest. But having these waypoints definitely makes the process of completing these so much easier gain it, which allows you to gain more hard amount of XP. And boom, we completed the quest, and we just need to go ahead and click it, and then it restarts the cycle all over again. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, because I will be able to make more videos like this in the future.